Hi, in this video, I will tell you about some core word processing activities in LibreOffice Writer 7, which are commonly needed for writing academic reports or company reports. So these are common word processing activities. I have just started my LibreOffice Writer and currently I have a blank page. So one of the first things that people need to do before they start doing word processing is to go on to the layout tab and I must mention that I have this tabbed view on which you can do from view and then going to user interface and clicking on tabbed view. What I also have here is the menu bar visible which is available from a button on the extreme top left. So you can click on it, it disappears. You can click on it back again, it appears. So I have both these on. So one of the first things that you need to do is to go to layout and check out your margins. So from here you can set margins. If you are printing on both sides of the paper in a magazine or a book format, you need to have mirrored margins. If you are printing only on one side of the report and if you're wanting to get it spiral bound or hard bound, you need to leave at least half an inch for binding. And this is called as the gutter margin. So these are some of the things that you can set from here. What you can also do is set your orientations, whether your document will be portrait or landscape. You can also set your page size. This is very important. If you are planning to print on A4 size paper, then you might like to set it up right up front in the beginning itself. And uh, from here, you can also have access to how many columns your page will have. So if you are printing a newsletter, you might like to consider printing it in two columns. Most of the time, it is just one column, which is the default. So these are some of the initial page settings that you need to look at and set them as per your needs. The second thing that I want to quickly mention is to go to tools and go to options. I want to show you a few options that are available. So to access this, you need to expand LibreOffice Writer. And let me just show you a few things. One is pertaining to the units of measurement. So how much should the margin be, whether that is going to be reported in centimeters or inches. So you can actually set that unit from here as you are comfortable. By default in LibreOffice, it is in centimeters. You can also have a look at default fonts. If there is another font that you want to set as default, you can do that. So you can alter these right from here. What you can also do is to come to auto caption. And when you are inserting a figure, for example, if your figure is an image mostly, you can click on this and making sure that the category is figure and not an illustration. Uh, what you are basically trying to say is, if you check this, Whenever you insert an image, you will have a caption underneath it and the numbering will keep changing automatically. So you don't have to right click and insert caption on every image. It will be automatically inserted. You can do the same for tables also. Whenever you insert a table, just make sure that the category says table. So you can set both of them for auto captioning uh, if you wanted to. By default, they are not set and you have to caption them individually. So these are some of the important settings that you can have a look at. One other setting uh, is load and save. You can click on this and you can just come to general. And from here, you can alter the duration of auto saves. So if you reduce this to, let us say, for example, five minutes, you are working on an important project and you cannot afford to lose a lot of work for whatever reasons, you can reduce this time to five minutes. What you can also do is to have this button checked at times if you are working on something important. So whenever a save is made, it will always also make a backup copy and you would have another copy handy all the time. So this is an important segment of settings. So you can have a look at this and you can set your LibreOffice writer to your specifications. Let's now move forward and see how we can do basic word processing operations in LibreOffice 7. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to style this uh, sample document. I have cut and pasted a few lines of text here, which are kind of mimicking a academic report. So we have chapter one here and under chapter one, we have some headings and subheadings and we will have to insert some figures. And then subsequently we have chapter two, 
again we have headings and subheadings and then finally we have some text symbolizing chapter 3 this text i have just simply cut and paste from the internet and this is purely a sample text so i'm just simply using these as placeholders are uh, trying and concentrating much more to show how to actually word process this document let me just start by telling one very important thing that whenever uh, you are working with any word processing program whether it is microsoft word or libreoffice writer i think the correct way to use that particular software is to always rely on styling now styling is something that many people do not really bother about and they get away with it because they are writing very small documents but if you are writing something big like going beyond 40 50 pages or about 100 pages styling can actually mean redemption from many days of work so styling is one of the most important concepts and the basic idea of styling is that you try to style every single piece of text inside your document you want to style every uh, figure every table in fact everything inside your document needs to be styled and you will see here that these are the tools for styling and we will see why this is so important so let me just give you a small example when you click on any piece of text you will see the style of that text appear here so when i'm clicking on this particular piece of text it says it is default paragraph style and i'm scrolling down the document and i come to another part of the document click here the same style and i go down and click on another paragraph the same style so all this text is in the default paragraph style now let me say suppose i wanted to increase the font of this paragraph so i'm just going to select this and bump the font up so when i increase the font of this paragraph the font size of this particular paragraph increases to 14 points but all the other paragraphs remain exactly the same so whenever i am trying to apply uh, some kind of formatting it remains confined to the text or the paragraph that i actually applied the formatting to what style does for you is that you can actually for example if you could just click on this icon you will see all the styles and when you click on a particular piece of text you will see the style so what you can do is you can right click and modify that style so say for example if i wanted to make this a uh, 14 point so i'll just select 14 point and press ok and then because every paragraph was governed by the same style that is the default paragraph style instead of one paragraph turning into a 14 point the whole document actually turns into 14 point because every single paragraph was having the default paragraph style so the point i'm making is that you can make document wide changes by making that particular change only at one place because pieces of text are being identified by a certain kind of style so rather than go and change every little piece of text in your document if you want to make a change in your document you might rather go and change the style and all pieces of text that are having that particular style will change right across the document so if you had a 500 page document and if you wanted to increase the size of the default paragraph which means the body of the text all you need to do is just to go here and right click and modify that style and say for example we wanted to revert back to 12 points so we can just go back here and press ok or apply and the whole document five six hundred pages or whatever it might be changes to 12 point text size so this is the power of styling and it is therefore very very important that whenever we are working uh, under normal circumstances we would start typing here but here i have just pasted a small section or selection of text so we would just continue maintaining a consistent style so what i'm going to do now is to choose my chapter one this is my uh, heading and i'm going to give it heading one style the lower the number that is heading one 
the bigger is the font size so in the hierarchy heading one is highest then under chapter one we have this so i'm going to give it heading two because it is under chapter one and so i'll just keep going down and finding headings so this is under chapter one so this is heading two and i'll just keep going down and again this is heading two because it is still under chapter one and then i hit on chapter two so chapter two will go again in heading one so i'm styling all my chapter headings and also my paragraph headings so this appears to be under chapter two but it is a subheading so it will go as heading number two now it says sustainable development initiatives in different countries so under the country is poland is another country so this because this is heading two this has to naturally be heading three because it is under heading two so i'm creating a natural succession and going and styling each heading or subheading accordingly so venezuela is also a country so it is heading number three united kingdom heading three but if you go down you will see england scotland and wales which are under united kingdom so naturally this has to be now heading four so i'm coming here and i'm clicking on heading four and i'm going ahead and styling my document headings so i'm coming back again so this is another major subheading so i will under chapter two so I'm going to give it heading two. And so I just keep working down. I have reached chapter three. So I'm going to come down here and very quickly, likewise, go ahead. And chapter headings are all heading one. And the first level of subheading is heading two. And then this is heading two as well. And then finally, we have reached the end of this sample document. So we are talking about sustainable energy. So this is heading two it's a major subheading under the chapter and then likewise sustainable forest management this is also a major subheading so i'm going to give it as heading two so we have reached the end of the document and what we have done is we have applied a styling to all our headings and subheading now this has two important advantages one is that the moment you apply styling to headings or subheadings and I could have done this the wrong way I could have just simply come here and made this bold and increase the font size but then uh, one of the important things that happens once you style is that because the document the word processor now knows that there are certain things styled as heading one say for example all chapter titles are heading one all subheadings are heading two it can automatically create a table of contents and it does not matter whether you change something inside the document you can always update the table of content so that's a very very big advantage of having styling on your headings and the second advantage is that you can immediately number them so for example if i was to come here and i wanted to give a number to each of these headings like for example chapter one so this is going to be one and then this is going to be two uh, you know 1.2 and so on and so forth so many scientific reports carry such kind of paragraph numbering all you have to do is just come and click in any one of these headings then you have to go to lists and just click on this one and then choose this one numeric with all sub levels because we have created a hierarchy so we are going to click on this one the moment you do this all your chapters and subheadings automatically get numbered because we have created that hierarchy through styling at this particular point in time i just want to say that the moment you style you can actually start reaping the benefits of good word processing karma and you can then immediately automatically start seeing numbers we will position them uh, subsequently but then at this particular point in time as you can see this is chapter 2 this is uh, one of the major subheadings of chapter 2 so this is 2.1 and it's talking about countries poland is a country because this had heading level number 3 it has automatically gone and said 2.11 2.12 france is now 2.12 and then if you come down to the united kingdom remember this is 2.14 but then england scotland and wales are all under united kingdom and so they are now having uh, you know appropriate numbering so two enormous advantages 
one with reference to paragraph numbering and the second with reference to creation of table of contents which we are going to see a little later and of course the third is consistency uh, you know if you are writing a very long document all your headings are in exact same font and exact same style size everything is exactly the same and the fourth biggest advantage is that suppose if you did not like uh, you know the chapter heading and you wanted to put it in a different color just come here so you can right click on it modify the exact same thing that is modify is available from here you can come here and you will see a small drop down you can click and edit style they both lead to the exact same point i find this to be a little more convenient i just enlarge it from here and then right click and modify and let us say for example if i wanted my font to be colored uh, let us say for example red so all i have to do is to change the color of heading one style i'm making that change at exactly one place and i press ok and as i travel down i find that all my chapter headings are converted into red if i did not like it i can always go back and modify and i can just simply come here and make it black and press ok and all my chapter headings will become black. So I can make or I can ripple a change right across a very huge document by making changes exactly at one place. These are some of the great benefits of styling. So it is very, very important that uh, when you are working with a word processor, particularly with LibreOffice 7 or Microsoft Word, um, you must always style your paragraphs. Every piece of text, every picture must be styled and controlled through styling. Something that many people, most of the people never do because they are working with small documents and they can get away with, you know, making things bold and underline and making paragraphs the way they want them to be by individually applying changes. Let me quickly um, also style this uh, body text. So as I click on the body text, I see that the styling is default paragraph style. So I'll just right click and modify this as well. One of the things that I want is I can change the alignment. So I could make it justified, for example. And what else I can do is I can come to indent and spacing. I can make this style currently it is having a single line spacing i can make it to let us say for example 1.15 lines and so on and so forth i can introduce a little bit of space above each paragraph i can introduce a little bit of space below each paragraph and so on and so forth so there are many things that you can actually change alignment indent and spacing what kind of font should the paragraph have what kind of font effects should the text have lots and lots of stuff that can actually be explored i am done with the changes that i wanted to do I'll just press OK and my whole document now is having uh, 1.5 body text spacing and it is having a little bit space below and above paragraph. So all the paragraphs now are consistent. I'll have to again keep doing a little bit of work because this is not typed text. This is text that I imported for the purpose of this demonstration. But I hope you can get the idea with reference to styling. So uh, this is very, very vital. And we will see how we can make this better because we would want this distance to go away. We might want that this particular number can come to the left or right. So we can control all that through styling. So styling is the key. In the next part, we will develop this idea further and work a little bit more on styling. Thank you for watching.